everyone welcome to my channel um, today I'm gonna do a vi the video is actually about um, inserting a calendar into the Excel file you know like the one I've just just clicked so it's gonna show you basically what we're talking about and then we'll go into how we can get the calendar into the Excel file so uh, basically this is it and I've just highlighted it for you guys so that you know it's visible and when you click on that you get the calendar so you can choose the date you can say you just select the date um, basically you need to first select the month the year and the date and there you go it changes so this is what we're gonna see how to um, how to do that so uh, let's see what um, how, let's go ahead and see how to do that so um, first of all all you need to do is first things uh, just create a you know thing like this highlight it you know if you really need it but I'm just gonna show you how to do that open a new sheet uh, the same thing actually highlight the thing all this then the ATE just leave it like that centralize anyway so that's 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 where we're gonna bring the uh, the uh, calendar now first before everything you know you need to have this option here on the top developer tab basically usually when you um, install Excel you won't have this initially so you'll have to um, what do you say you'll have to basically add it into the um, ribbon so basically first of all you need to go into file just right there right click on it and then you will see these options here saying customize the ribbon click on customize the ribbon and now these are the main tabs on the on the ribbon so you will find this unticked you'll have to tick it and press ok uh, in different other this is Excel 2013 in other versions you will find it somewhere you'll find the options button somewhere here and you go to options and you click it or you know something like that you it's not pretty uh, hard to find but anyway when you go there options preferences you'll find there uh, how to get that or you still right click and then you will be able to uh, go to customize the ribbon and then you will be able to find it. it's probably on somewhere on the top or the front screen uh, on the window that displays so it won't be a problem for you um, if there's anything please leave a comment or question I'll, I'll get back to you so now that you have enabled the um, developer tab uh, you need to go into the developer tab so click on there and then on the left corner you'll find the uh, option of visual basic click on visual basic now this is where you are actually gonna import the files and um, those imported files will actually work as it's it's um, it's a calendar so you gotta um, so I'm gonna take you through this sorry through these steps and um, yeah you gotta follow those steps and you'll have your calendar in your sheet um, so what you need to do is first of all right click on where I have highlighted and then import file I've got the files here on my desktop but anyway you guys can access the file in the description area there's a link so follow the link and download the files um, you will find it so, so first of all you'll have to download calendar this file here say open so now that will create a new uh, folder saying forms and you got it over there go back again highlight there right click import file now you import this sheet here and now that's gonna create another module so that's the sheets now basically if you double click the calendar to come up with this now this is something um, that you need to you know you might you can actually work on this like you know changing colors and the way you want it to display and all those um, personalization stuff you know the font and things like that you can um, you can actually check those out you know do the changes that won't actually affect anything so I've got nothing to do there but here in the sheet I'll close this before I go to the sheet now the sheet double click the sheet that you had imported now this whole coding you'll have to select the whole coding 
copy and go to the sheet here which is sheet 1 that's the sheet that's in your excel file and paste it All right uh, you paste uh, you copied from the imported file and you paste uh, you have done the pasting in the in the sheet of the file that's what has happened right now so close it back close all this close the visual basic as well uh, all right sorry I missed out one thing go back here you see this one here which I've highlighted the the format of the date highlight that copy close it now right click on the cell where you want the calendar to appear right click I've chosen this highlighted cell so click on format cells and under format cells you go to customs highlight this general and you paste the one that you just copied the format of the date and just click on ok now basically if you go click here it should come up with a calendar see I'll close it just as soon as you click on that cell you have the calendar now the calendar you can change the month and the you know the year say 2019 whatever 27 there you go so that's there March 27 2019 so that's that's pretty much it so it's it's not um, so if you follow those steps that I've gone through you will pretty much be able to do the same thing on on you as on your files as well you know whenever you create um, different projects you might need a calendar there so this is going to be really helpful for you guys so if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks a lot for watching guys um, check out my other videos as well and um, thanks again have a great day Bye -bye.